welcome to tutorial one of the collections management features of SARIS. In the following series of tutorials, we'll go through managing your museum on SARIS and capturing objects, digitizing them, describing them, and then using the various reports to um, conduct research across collections or to manage the movements of, of, of objects around your museum. We also have the valuations features added to SARIS, so for museums complying with GRAP in South Africa, this is a useful tool to integrate with your accounting systems. And we also have condition assessments, so you can track the required treatments on various objects and then the actual actions taken on those objects over time. The first section is to log in and register on the system. Some of this information is already available in our other tutorials, but I'll repeat this for curators specifically again because your user rights and your particular profile will vary depending on how you've registered on SARS. The website is www.sara.org.za, S-A-H-R-A.org.za, and you go to the home page and at the top left to register an account, click on login register and there's the create new account link. Follow that link and specify your first name dot surname and your unique email address. So we may choose something like John dot Smith and then the email address, whatever this might be, test.com. Let's just confirm that and then choose a password and it's a minimum of six letters and then answer the capture question. If you can't read the capture riddle, ask for a new one and it will refresh until you can see something that you find a little bit easier to read. So like this one. I think I've more or less worked it out. Once you've answered the question, click on create new account. The system will then email you a link to Saurus where you've, uh, you're able to log in and manage your, your profile. If you can't get in, please call the helpline and we'll register an account manually, manually for you. Once you have your account, I'm going to log in using one of the demo accounts. You just simply enter your username and password. You are also able to use your e uh, email address as the username. If you forget your password, click on request new password. And this simply asks you for your username or email address, answer the riddle, and it will email you a one-time login link, after which you can reset your password. Don't try and change your password more than once every hour. Uh, it, there's a limitation, so if you change your password, you must wait at least one hour to change your password again. Okay, let's log in. Now for users with only the curator role, it won't take you automatically to the dashboard. Um, we've got the dashboard predefined for applicants and for site recorders at this stage. Uh, there are intentions to create specialized da dashboards for curators um, so that that will be integrated into the system down the line. From the home page, we would like to move on to SARS. So click on SARS in the main menu. And this takes you to the general help page. Here you will find various tutorials in PDF format or PowerPoint format. There will be the video tutorials which are on YouTube or for direct download. I'll be adding the videos I'm recording right now to this page. At the bottom you will find various presentations and there's uh, copies of papers and Prezi formats as well of the presentations we'll be making. For museum curators, your menu options are a little bit different to the normal applicants. So under the explore menu, you'll see you have less choices uh, related to SARS. Under create, you also don't see all the various options that appear for normal applicants. Um, so we did this specifically to try and tailor, the, tailor this to people working in the museums. Um, and we can make this even simpler for curators with 
less privileges in your uh, in your various institutions. Again, this is something we are working on um, at this stage, which is trying to give you an overview of the main suite of features for museums. The first step you will take in creating your museum is going to follow in the next uh, chapter of this tutorial. Um, but just know that the two menu options, explore and create, are pretty self-explanatory. So to find content, you'll go to explore and to create content, i.e. new objects or movements, you would go to create objects. Let's close off this tutorial here and then move on to the next chapter in the next section.